Hi, my name is Ali Shersavar from Breacher Digital. In one of our previous videos, we showed the principles of operations of a current clamp. In this video, we're going to show exactly how we use the current clamp and its transfer impedance plot in order to measure the cable currents and therefore estimate the emissions. So if you remember from our previous video, you get an EMC current clamp, which looks something like this. Uh, and then you put uh, the cables of your device under test through the clamp. Um, and then the output of the clamp will go to the spectrum analyzer. So in effect, you, what you have here is a current transformer whereby you've got one single turn on the primary, uh, that is the, the cable of your device under test, several turns on the secondary, which is inside of the current clamp, and then the output of that is going to go to a uh, spectrum analyzer, which has got an impedance of uh, 50 ohms. Uh, in effect, that's going to look something like this. You have got uh, one single turn of primary, uh, that is the cable of the um, device under test. Then you have got several turns of secondary inside of the current clamp. And then that will go to a 50 ohm impedance of the spectrum analyzer. And what you are doing here is that you're sitting here and looking at the voltage across this but we are interested in the current on the primary. So effectively, you need some kind of a translation table or some kind of a plot that takes the voltage on the secondary side and translates it into what was it on the primary side that created it. And that is called the transfer impedance. It makes sense for it to be an impedance plot because you're taking a voltage and you're converting it into a current. Um, so the manufacturer of your current clamp usually provides you with an impedance plot and it looks typically something like this whereby this is your frequency and this is your your impedance. Um, we usually operate it in this current region this is called the voltage region that's called the current region and this region is typically flat and it makes it easier for us to make our measurements. For simplicity let us Give an example here. Let's just say that at 100 megahertz, our plot says that the impedance at 100 megahertz is 1 ohms. And this is called the transfer impedance, which is usually just written as ZT. And uh, um, we know from the plot uh, that we have got 1 ohms at 100 megahertz. And let's again, for simplicity, say that uh, we are measuring 1 volt at 100 megahertz from the spectrum analyzer. It follows therefore that one volts, one ohms at 100 megahertz, you have got one amps flowing down this cable. And then you use another equation which estimates what the field is that the antenna is going to pick up um, if you have one amps at 100 megahertz flowing. And we're going to show that a little bit uh, when we go to the lab. So the, the final minor difference is that typically these plots are not given in ohms. They are given in dB ohms. Uh, we've in fact done another video about how you convert between units. And the reason we get these plots in dB ohms is, be, is because usually the spectrum analyzer is measuring the voltage in dB microvolts and you're translating into dB microamps. And of course, a division in linear world translates into subtraction in log world. And therefore, if you have something like uh, 100 dB microvolts, you try to find it in dB microamps. And the, at 100 megahertz, let's say that the plot says that you have got uh, 20 dB ohms then you only subtract these two from each other and you end up with dB microamps, 80 dB microamps. And of course, then you can use this in your other equations in order to uh, estimate the field. So let us now go to the lab and I'm going to show you a spreadsheet which will calculate all of these automatically so that we do not have to do all of the calculations by hand. 
So um, here we are in the lab. Uh, this is the uh, uh, current clamp that I showed you earlier on. And here it's its transfer impedance. Uh, in fact, we're going to make another video to show you how we create this uh, transfer impedance. Um, and um, we have made videos before on how you convert uh, units in DB world. The link is in the description. Uh, we've also made a video about how you take the current measurement and translate it into the radiative emissions that the uh, antenna is going to pick up. Of course, we don't want to solve these equations by hand, so I've put everything into the spreadsheet, and I'm just going to quickly demonstrate to you how it works out. Let's say that you get your device under test, you pass a current through the, the cable, uh, um, the cable through here, and you will read at 100 megahertz on the spectrum analyzer 50 dB micro volts. Based on that, the spreadsheet automatically converts it into different units in microvolts, uh, a dB microamps, and so on. Also, uh, it compares it to the uh, EMC standards radiated emissions uh, table, and it gives you a pass and a fail. And you can see now that it is failing the class B, but it's passing the class A. And it does all of these uh, equations automatically. If I were to then debug my circuit and reduce emissions to let's say 10 dB microvolts, please have a look at this point here. You will see that both of them will pass. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video and hope to see you in one of our workshops.